Well, it was an amazing win. Um, certainly very proud of our players and our assistant coaches. Uh, I thought everybody did an excellent job in preparation and traveling. Um, uh, we had to leave uh, as a team at 7 o'clock on Thursday night. We didn't get back till 7.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, you know, a lot of adversity through injuries. Uh, certainly McNeese State was an outstanding football team, very well coached. 13, 14,000 people, maybe 16, 17,000 cowbells. Um, you know, just a great atmosphere, very tough opponent, and uh, very physical, violent, emotional football game. And uh, fortunately, we were able to make uh, uh, really a lot of perfect plays down the stretch uh, to give ourselves a chance to win. You know, uh, we had a fourth and, and 10, and Winrick uh, scrambled for 12 yards. Uh, the very next play, he uh, extended a pass play, got outside the pocket, fundamentally kept his eyes downfield. Uh, Desmond Lewis, you know, he's six foot four, made an acrobatic, twisting catch, got one foot down. And then we had to bring our true freshman uh, kicker in, Jace Dinker from Bryant, and he executed a perfect onside kick. And Desmond Lewis was in a great, you know, position. And, uh, and then we brought uh, Eddie Kamara in and kicked a career long 47 yard on fourth and one. And, uh, gave us a chance to win, and, and, uh, and then certainly the defense had to hold up. But we had to have, we counted six perfect special teams plays, um, and uh, from extra points to fielding a punt to covering two kickoffs to an onside kick to a field goal. And then, um, you know, I thought we were very efficient again in our two minute offense, and um, really very similar to the Sam Houston game. We kind of hit them late in the game and got out of there, and, and uh, just a great win for our team and for our program, for our university. Yeah, they were one of the top, uh, you know, rush defenses in the country. I think giving up about 60 yards a game, we had right at 100 yards. I thought Hinton and Bobo both ran extremely hard. Winrick gave us some positive plays there in the fourth quarter, and uh, Jesse Grandy on the on the speed sweep got uh, you know a couple of carries, positive plays. So. Um, it just took a little bit of pressure off of the, of the passing game. Uh, we did have to mix and match. Uh, we lost, uh, you know, another starter and suspended an all-conference player prior to the game. Um, so, uh, you know, we're getting pretty thin over there. But uh, Bill Best, our offensive line coach, uh, and all those young kids, uh, mostly freshmen and sophomores, did an excellent job. Uh, you know, we passed for more yards than they were giving up. We ran for more yards than they were giving up going to the game. We scored more points than they were giving up. Um, on the road, tough environment. So I'm very proud of, of, of those young players up front because that's where it's got to start. Oh man, it's terrific to be. We're going to be playing at home again. And certainly, we've had a lot of success at home. Uh, family day. Uh, we're hopeful for you know a wonderful day and a, and a big crowd. Uh, uh, a lot of tailgating. You know, I really, uh, really hope that we'll turn out and and uh, really show support for this football team. Uh, quite certain we'll be ranked in the top. You know, in the top 20 in both of the polls this week, you know, maybe as high as 15 or 16, and, and uh, just coming off a, a win against the number 15 team in the country on the road. So uh, we've got to heal up. We've got to practice smart. Uh, we, we've got to be very careful how we practice our players. Um, but we've got to make sure that we have a good plan put in place, and uh, then we're ready to go on Saturday. It's a very talented Lamar team. Uh, they've played a tough schedule, we played at Hawaii, at Louisiana Lafayette, and lost both to Northwestern and Southeastern by, by I think, one touchdown. So um, uh, they have uh, several FBS transfers, including the number one running back in the country in Herschel Sims, uh, who was at Oklahoma State and transferred to Lamar. So, um, you know, enjoy the victory, but it's time to move on and, and get ready for the next challenge. And what's really important to me as the head coach and to our program is our first goal every year is to have a winning season. And this is our first chance to get our sixth win. And, uh, and, uh, and obviously there are other goals that are still out there, but the very first one is to, is to make sure our seniors leave as winners and we get that first opportunity on Saturday. Yeah, very athletic. Uh, they stem from a three down front, uh, very aggressive blitz packages. Uh, play some man coverage, some combination coverages. Uh, very athletic team. I mean, you know, 95 percent of their team is from the Houston, Texas, Beaumont, Golden Triangle area there in Southeast Texas. Uh, you know, just a you know a wealth of talent, and they get a lot of uh, FBS transfers. You know, uh, 
two on the defensive line, one from Oklahoma State, one from Texas A&M. We talked about Sims from Oklahoma State. Wide receivers got nine touchdown catches from Oklahoma State. So, and their quarterback, who I assume will be healthy this week, is transferred from Kentucky, a young man that we had talked to, Ryan Muskowski. So, um, you know, they've, they've got good players. And, uh, uh, you know, they're just one half or a little bit of momentum away from putting it all together. And uh, so it, uh, we were fortunate to get out of Beaumont last year with a win, and it'll, it'll take a great week of preparation and, and playing 60 minutes again this week at home uh, to notch that, that sixth victory.